Hello everyone, I'm Udh here from your Target Common YouTube channel and this will be a continuation of this episode end-to-end -end framework playlist video series. So as part of API testing, we do a lot of assertions and it is always a good practice to show a log the assertion you have performed in the report. So in generally in API response, we need to verify the values of some fields. Just for an example here, when you create an airline, so create airline API give me this response. So ideally we should verify whatever value we have passed in the payload to create an airline the same value it has returned suppose if you're verifying one by one so maybe you need to verify id the name then country and like this all these fields so instead of logging those assertions like you verified id you verified name like that let's do something so that it will look very good in report and it will go for all the assertions and if any assertion is failing then only the final result will be failure just for an example here if you see this table so i'm verifying some fields okay the first column is the like json path you need to give the JSON path when which we can extract the value from the response and what you expecting and what was the actual value and this I am checking whether actual and expected are matching or not we can see here everything is matched that's why I am printing or I am just logging a pass statement that all assertion passed and I am giving some smiley similarly if you see the another report here you can see there's some two assertions are not matched right so we see the final result will be failure so i have written like all assertion not passed you can give any custom message there okay so this looks good actually so in this video i'm going to explain how can we log all the assertion details in the extended report in tabular format but before i go and write this code i need to show you something let me go and create a new test let me create a new class itself for the test case because in the old test class, I have done a lot of experiments. Let me add a test generated method here. Create airline and verify. And I need to update this new class in my testng.xml. So let me update it here. And now if I run the Maven runner, then it should create an airline and it should print me the ID. So test case is passed. And if you come here, you can see it is printing the ID, right? But what will happen if this particular JSON part doesn't exist? So let me simply add extra D and let me run the program again. Obviously test case will fail. If I go to log, then it is giving the error like null pointer. Why it is giving? Because this I IDD is not present in my response object. So instead of using the try cache to handle the null point exception, we can use the optional. Let me show you how. You need to use optional, which is coming from java.util package. Then here we have one method called off null level. And here it to pass like response dot json path dot get. And you can pass whatever json path you want to pass. Why I'm using get here, uh, not int or string, because so that I can apply for it for any data type. Because json path may return a string, integer, boolean. Right? and this will return you of type optional so let me store into a variable now here i can simply do a check if idd dot is present means if it has any value then print the id l field not found or whatever message you want to give you can give here if i run the program now it will handle the null pointer exception easily okay you can see test case is passed and it is printing like field not found because idd is not there the same logic i am going to write now and i will print all the actual expected value in the extend report in the tabular format since i i need to create an utility so obviously that utility should be part of your framework so what i am going to do inside my rest utils package which is coming under src main here i will add a new class and I will name it as Sarsan Utils and I will create a new method like public static void and obviously I require some parameters so I will type the response and I will expect a map in which we need to pass the JSON path and values so I will pass I will simply name it as like expected values so what I am expecting I am expecting you need to pass me the response on which I need to go and find the values using the JSON path and you need to pass one map in that map you need to pass the first value will be JSON path and second will be what kind of value you are expecting if you have watch my previous videos and if you see the extend report manager so if you want to print anything in the tabular format in the extend report then you will to create the two dimensional string array by keeping that concept in mind i am going to have a list a list of actual and expected comparison means i will create a list but before that if you see the report here i am passing like json path expected value actual value and assertion result i want to add more than one field so obviously you need to use list so i can use the list or you can do one thing you can create a new Class. what i'm going to do i will just creating a new class again and i will name it like assertion keys in this assertion keys i will going to add so 
so let me put it object because expected and actual value can be of any data type in a while you will understand i why i have created this class so in the assertion utils instead of creating a list of list i will use a list of assertion keys okay and i will name it like actual values map let me initialize this and in this class let me add two annotations i will require the getter and i will require the all are constructor all these will make sense in some time i will create one variable like all match okay? and initially i will simply make it true expecting that everything is matching then i need to iterate this map so simply i will use the simple key set method so expected value map dot key set and this i can store into a set maybe i can simply name it keys then i will use the for loop string key key so generally if you see here key will be the json path right so instead of writing the keys so let me write json path okay and here singular json path now i'll use the concept of optional right whichever i have shown you why because i don't want to handle the null point exception using the try catch here so i will use the optional dot of null level simple thing response dot json path dot get and i will pass the json path and this will return me a optional type right so let me introduce that variable and i will name it like actual value and obviously i need to put one if condition actual value is present if if the json path is present then it will return a value if it is not present they will return empty so if it is present then i will extract the value so for that you need to use the actual value dot get and this will return you the actual value and you need to store into the variable i will use value then here i need to put one more assertion here i will match whatever i have received means what the actual value and expected value so i will use the value dot equals and i can use the expected value which is coming from expected value map dot get and we have the json path if it is match okay if the expected and actual are matching then i am going to add a entry in this list so actual value map dot add and here i will create a new an object of assertion keys right here i will add the values so what is the first value i need to use the json path then expected value so again you can fetch it using the get you can fetch it and store also so this will be the second argument is the expected value third is the actual value which is stored in the value okay and we know that if it's a actual and expected are matched so i'll simply print match so what i did i simply iterating the expected value map whatever you are passing i am getting the json path one by one i am just using the op optional of null level just to handle the scenario when the json path is not returning any value so instead of returning the null point exception it will return me empty object so here i am checking if it is returning any value then get the value using the get method and then assert that value with the expected value if it is matching then add a new entry into the list of the assertion keys object so here you need to pass the four things right json path expected value actual value and the final result so if there is spelling mismatch so let me correct it and suppose if this condition not true then obviously i need to have a else condition so let me add a else and here i need to set the all matched as false why because this all matched needs to be true until unless every assertions are passed if any assertion is failing so final result should be failure so i am putting the all matched as false and here i will set the entry so let me copy this line of code and paste it here so instead of matched i simply need to put the not matched if the json path is not present then this value this code will give me false so obviously i need to have one else condition here as well so for this i will copy the else okay and here similar code will go but little modification so let me copy and paste because suppose if the json path is not present then obviously assertion will fail assertion is not successful so again all matched will be false and here i need to add a new entry to the actual value map and here json path will be there expected value will be there okay but the actual value will not be there because we don't we didn't find the value using the provided json path so i can have some value here like value not found you can give anything which is meaningful after the iteration i need to check what is the final value of all matched so i'll use if condition if all match true then i have already utils created in the extend report manager log pass details and i will write all assertions are passed right and you can add some smiley to add this smiley in the windows it is like window dot it will open this one you can add the smiley if it is not true then obviously i need to add extend report manager dot log failure details and i can write all assertions are not matched or passed and obviously i should be sad so let me use some 
smiley again and this time i will add sad smiley so i have i will have this list ready after this assertion so i need to log this in my report so let me simply go and copy this code here because this is the simple code to log the header in the tabular format in the report i which i have already shown you in the previous video so i will simply copy the same code and i will come here and i can paste it here so instead of header list i need to use the actual value map and here it will be like you can change anything meaningful name assertions so here i need to add different value in the array so i'll use assertions dot get json path the first value then assertions dot get expected value assertions dot get actual value then assertion dot get result since we required the string two dimensional array and i think these are returning object so we can cast it using the string dot value of same thing will be for the actual value and let me name it like final assertions map and i will pass it here if you didn't understand this code please go and watch my previous video where i explained that how can we log the headers in the tabular format in the extend report like this way this i already shown right these are the headers which is logged in in the tabular format and if you see the report here demo report first row is the headers so what i'm going to do i will add a an entry in my list where i will add the headers so go to assertion utils and here i will add a entry actual value map add new assertions and i will pass json path then expected value these are the column names expected value then actual value then result okay so first entry should be this one so that it will come on the top let me use this method to put the assertions let me get rid of all these things what i am going to do let me create a map first map a string then object i can use expected value map equal to new hash map and here let me put the entries like actual value map dot put let me copy the key from here so id and the id will be expected will be request dot get id And now let me call the new method call assertion utils dot assert expected value with JSON path. So I will pass the response and I will pass the expected value map. That's all I need to do. If I run the test case now, it should generate the report and expect expecting it should log all those assertion details in a tabular format in the extend report build is successful let me open the report so this is the report you can see here all assertions are passed and it is printing all those values in a tabular format let's fail some test case or some assertion so for the id or the for the name i will simply add some character so that actual and expected will not be the same and same thing i will do for the logo so this time all the assertion will not be passed and my final report or final result should be failure and it should me it should give me the like not matched in the report let me show you if it is giving or not so test is successful let me open the report the last one you can see the final result is failed and if you come down here you can see all assertions are not passed and it is showing that name is not matched and logo is not matched right so i know that this code might be difficult for you to understand now but don't worry I will push this code to the GitHub repo. Just clone that and understand the code line by line. This is really simple. You just need to practice and you need to understand. But if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.